Jan and Lucy Collins were trying to bring up their five kids in the toughest of circumstances. Along with triplets, Lola, Daisy, and Amber, they are parents to Hadley and Kat. Family life was suffering as they struggled to support two of their daughters, Daisy and Amber, who suffer from an incurable kidney disease. Complications before the triplets were born have left two of them living with nephrotic syndrome, a disease that causes kidney failure and requires them to have 70 hours of dialysis. The nearest hospital that offers the service they need is a four-hour round trip away in Bristol, so four times a week they were forced to make the journey from their home in Barnstable. With the girls scheduled for treatment on different, it meant Jan and Lucy were constantly driving back and forth, which began to take its toll on family life. Managing to juggle taking the girls to receive their life-saving dialysis while holding the family together in their small home caused major disruption. However, help was on hand as the DIY SOS team arrived in North Devon for a very emotional big build in August 2019. They wanted to transform the family home so that the girls could have their treatment from the comfort and safe surroundings of their own home. This would bring stability to their lives. Stop the arduous journeys to hospital and give the entire family more time to spend together. Nick Knowles and his colleagues issued a call to arms to recruit an army friends, family and local tradesmen to help rebuild the Collins home. They also had the help of expert designer Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen slash hundreds of local volunteers arrived to lend their time and expertise to the Mammoth Project, working tirelessly to fix up the house, reports Devon Live. There were scaffolders, skip companies, suppliers, carpenters, joiners, plasters, electricians, decorators, ground workers, bricklayers, bathroom fitters and tilers. Despite their tight deadline, everything went to plan during the build, but they were plagued by the wet. The DIY SOS team and their volunteers courageously battled through the searing heat during filming in the summer of 2019. The heat caused a few problems with some workers dropping like flies as they took shelter in the shade after Luckily, two local food firms provided the overheated team with cold drinks and ice creams as well as the record temperatures impacting the volunteers. There was also a paint explosion which a large tub of white paint was seen splattered across the back of one of the DIY SOS vans because the lid had not been properly secured. While causing a lot of mess, it did provide the team with some laughs. In just nine days, the DIY SOS team managed to transform the house so that Daisy and Amber can have dialysis in the comfort of the They created storage space inside the house for important medical equipment so they no longer have to make the daunting trip. As well as that, they made more space for other members of the family, including the girls' fellow triplet Loa and their brothers Hadley and Jan was overcome with emotion when he stepped out of his newly renovated home to find more than 100 people standing outside. The emotional father broke down in tears when the transformation was revealed and he was greeted by the volunteers who made it all happen. I've never been so lost for words in all my life, confessed Jan as he spoke to what you guys have achieved here in just a few days is absolutely breathtaking. It's said to be a real tearjerker. DIY SOS, The Big Bill dares tonight on BBC One at